Hello, and welcome to Spoiler Alert, where I tell you how something was that isn't yet. This week we're taking a look at Magic's new set, Shadows Over Innistrad, set on the plane in the multiverse most likely to join Lorwyn as being human free. Yes, Avacyn has turned her back on the humans she once protected, and this cruel angel has a thesis that the seeds of man are rotten, which is admittedly pretty hard to argue with when you see what the seeds of man get up to. Wait a minute, this is Innistrad. There we go. Rather than take this as the natural result of being forced to work angelic customer service to the whole of the human race for a few millennia, people are regarding Avacyn's about face as a turn to madness. To which she replied, Madness? This is Innistrad. With Avacyn no longer saving humanity's collective bacon, but rather frying it to a crisp, humanity is once again beset on all sides by the undead, werewolves, and of course, ghosts. So who are you gonna call? Turns out we're gonna call Jace, the member of the Gatewatch, without any fighting skills, because why would those be useful on Horror World? He's looking for Soren so that Soren can help him find Emrakul, because somehow they managed to lose track of a titan that's bigger than certain cities. Soren, however, is having his own problems. Turns out Nahiri, the Lithomancer, is pissed that he didn't do more to save Zendikar from the Eldrazi, and has decided that all of Innistrad has to pay for it, starting with the Markovs. Meaning that our undead friend here is now in the market for a new vampire family, and he's not necessarily thrilled with his options. Nahiri has also been going all over Innistrad creating cryptoliths, presumably to aid in its destruction, but it could just be that Nahiri can't visit a world without leaving weird rocks all over the place. So with Soren occupied, that leaves Jace to try to unravel the cause of Avacyn's madness, using the help of Tamiyo's journal and a scattered trail of evidence, leading him on the most complicated game of Blue's Clues ever recorded. We are looking for Blue's Clues because we're mono blue, yeah! It's not just angels who are going mad, mind you. Despite Avacyn's genocidal insanity, many people in the church still support her, proving that many humans on Innistrad have roughly the same self-preservation instincts as lemmings, and an ability to ignore a leader's flaws on par with your average Trump support. The vampire families of Innistrad that Nahiri hasn't turned into sculpture gardens are also beginning to lose their grip. On reality, not so much on their victims. In fact, all of this is making the werewolves look positively tame by comparison, particularly now that they're led by Arlen Kord, or Sigourney Weaver before and after Shaven. Now, many have speculated that the root cause of all this madness is Emrakul herself visiting Innistrad, but I mean, Innistrad is one of the most popular planes Wizards has ever made. To introduce Emrakul to it would fundamentally change it, would destroy most of what people love about it. And they wouldn't do that to such a popular plane. Twice. So that's it for this week's spoiler alert. Join us next time as we take a patriotic look at Captain America Civil War. And as always, leave me comments down below giving me ideas for what else to review in advance. And until next time, don't say, I didn't warn you.